In this video you will learn how to use teamwork for project management. So in this teamwork tutorial I'll show you exactly how to use it and on top of that I will also tell you if in my opinion it is worth it and I will give you an honest review of teamwork.com. Now teamwork.com can be used completely for free which you can see if we head over to the pricing section right here. They have a free plan which is perfect for small teams getting started. And this is up to 5 users so if you have under 5 users that you will be adding to your project on teamwork you can actually use use it for free. However, if you need more than 5 users, then you need to upgrade to one of these premium plans where you pay per user per month. So the minimum is here 10 euros per user per month with a 3 user minimum. On top of that you also get some more features in these paid plans that you can check out. Now in this video I'll just show you how you can get started with the free plan. Now I'll leave my affiliate link to teamwork.com down in the description that will take you to this website. I would really appreciate it if you do sign up through the link it's of no additional cost and it helps support the channel and as you can see you can get a 30 day free trial no credit card required although of course you can also just use the free plan but if you click start your free trial right here you can then go and set up your teamwork.com account now of course there are a lot of other project management services out there such as monday.com and in this video i will also share with you if in my opinion teamwork.com is better or whether you should better use something like monday.com or asana clickup or any of these other ones. Now in order to sign up you can just enter your work email address, password and full name or you can sign up with Google. Now after you create your account you need to set up your teamwork.com account. So first which sector best describes your company. So you have a couple of different ones here so it's split up under different categories such as agencies, professional services, education etc. Now for example if I have a marketing agency then I will select that, then how many people are in your company, now you can choose 1 to 5 and then you can use the free plan, but if it's more than that or at least if you want to add more people to teamwork.com you will need to upgrade to one of the premium plans. Now for example I'll say 6 to 10 here and what role do you perform in your company, let's say C-level partner, founder, director or VP, then what is the name of your company, enter that right there. And then click on continue. So then you will get your own custom link to teamwork.com. So you will see your company name teamwork.com. Now in order to get started, first help them personalize your experience. So first, what do you want to do with teamwork? And just going to enter that right here. So you have a couple of different options. For example, general project management and delivering client projects. Now this may be a little bit different for you if you chose a different category or business industry, but just going to select all that apply to you. Then click continue. Now here what type of project are you working on, so your first project will be set up under the company you select here. So either select client or internal. So if the project is inside of your actual business and it's with your employees to actually improve your business or work on some kind of a product launch or something like that, then you can do internal. If it's for a client you can select client. Now here I'll just select internal and click continue. Now give your project a name. Now for example I will say that this is a marketing project where you are marketing for your own company. So I'll name this one marketing and click continue. Now what are the first few things that you have to get done for this project? So I just have a couple of examples here and now you can click continue. Now what works better for you, you can change this later. So you have a preview here, this is the table. Then you can also choose to have a board, so then it has to do in progress and completed. And finally you have a list. Now my personal favorite is board, so I'm going to select board and click continue. Now use columns to organize and visualize your progress. So these are the columns right here, so to do in progress completed, and you can name them right here. Now I'll just keep it to these simple columns and click continue. Now you want to go ahead and invite your teammates to your first project. So just enter their email right here and then they will get an invite. You can also click skip if you want to do this later. So I just added one example, now I'll click continue. And now you will have fully set up your account and you will get to your actual dashboard. So now the person that you have added or invited onto your team will get an email and then they can simply go in and accept it and then they will also be part of this project. Now you can always invite more people to your team by clicking add your team right there. Now what we are going to do first is go through the fundamentals here. So welcome to teamwork.com and here you can watch this video if you want and then if you click go to your project 
you will then see your project right here. So you have the different types of views. So you have the board, table, and the list. Now my personal favorite is the board. So I'll select this one. And now here we have the tasks that we created earlier. So brainstorm ideas, write add copy, and create content. Now you can see that these are all with statuses. And if you click on any of these, you will see the task details. So you can attach files right here. You can add proofs, time logs, and you can follow this task. Now this one has been tagged with published right here. Now if I simply want to remove that, I can do that and then you will also not see that here anymore. Now when you are creating a task, what you want to do is the following. So for now I'll just click edit task, but you can usually do this when you are creating the task. But what you want to do is here, who should do this at the person that has to do this. So for example here I have the person that I invited. If I click on them, then they will be able to see that this task is assigned to them. Then you can add a start and a due date and you can provide a detailed description for the task right here so now when i click save changes you will see that now here it says the c for the person that i added in now there's another cool feature of teamwork that is called automate right here so if you click automate you will see that they have automation templates so here are some featured ones for example when due date arrives notify people when time logged notify people etc so you can just go and check out all of these automations for example progress tags priority etc so for example when priority changes change assignees and you can also search for templates if you are searching for something specific however you can also create your own custom automation so then you need to add a trigger and an action so trigger when this happens then this basically so then you can click create and then that will be added automatically and that's in my opinion really cool and now if you want to add more tasks then for example here in my to-do list i can click plus and basically a task is called a card so if you click add a card you can then create your card right here and then once you click save you have created this card now when you click on it and click edit you can now assign a person add files assign a priority so for example when it's high you will see the red flag right here and then people will need to know that they need to do this first so you can kind of check out which of these views you like the best so you also have the list so then you can see the list right here so you can see the status is to do and if you want to move something from to do to in progress for example then what you can simply do let's say we are brainstorming ideas i can just drag this one over into in progress now where it says brainstorm ideas you may want to have multiple people working on this so if you want to do that just click on it and click edit task and then who should do this just click on the current person and then click add more and then let's say also me then click update and now this task will be assigned to multiple people so not just to one person so that's also an option now when you kind of get behind on your task you will build up a backlog so if you click show backlog you will see all the tasks that are past the due date now you have a bunch of different categories here that you can go over you can search for specific keywords you can search for people and basically anything you want here then here in welcome you have the education integrations you can get in touch so you can also integrate with slack or quickbooks or any of these other ones and they have even more integrations when you click browse all then jump to you can simply jump to a specific task or wherever you want in clients you can go ahead and add in your clients so then you can also create new projects for that specific client then in projects you will see all of your current projects and again you can add more projects and they also have project templates so if you click on templates you can see they have a huge list of different templates for example a design project management podcast planning template teamwork onboarding weekly to-do list so you can just kind of see if there's something here for you for example if i want to use the digital marketing plan then i want to click on use templates right here and now this project will also be added so now you will have the digital marketing plan right here and you can basically use that one as well so then it has the strategy ppc seo social media and tracking and reporting so then it basically has created a template automatically that you can then go and use then you also have planning here you have budgets reports you can see the time so in the time you can basically see how many hours a specific employee has worked on a specific task so if you want this you need to tell the people on your team to log their time so if you click log time you can then here select a project you are working on for example marketing and then here you can choose a start and end time and then choose if this is billable then you can add a description so basically what you were doing then click add and now click log these time entries and then you will see this person right here has worked 30 minutes right here so then you can also see the total time 
Now here in more, you have even more stuff such as proofs, forms, everything, calendar and people. Now if you simply want to quickly add a task or any of these other things right here, then you can click either add task or on the drop down and then you will find a bunch of stuff that you can simply add within just a couple of clicks. So in order to start using teamwork, first go to invite your team members by clicking add your team and then invite them through email. Then just go and create your projects and again you can also use their templates and then just open up the template and add in any tasks or cards that you want to add in, assign them to a person and then they will know that they need to do that. Now if you want to set a different owner for a specific project, for example if you have a person in charge of marketing and this is the marketing project, then what you can do is click on the three dots and click more options and go to set owner and then here you can just set a project owner, for example if this person is in charge of marketing then I can set them to update owner of this project right here and then they will be the owner of this project so it's all pretty simple and you can just go and try it out now whether you should use teamwork.com or monday.com or any of these other project management softwares in my opinion they are all pretty similar and teamwork.com does offer a completely free plan which we can see right here in upgrade now so here you will see the paid plans however they also offer the free plan which I showed you earlier and you can see that it automatically starts your free trial with the grow plan right here but you can always downgrade to the free plan if you want. And the grow plan right here is the recommended plan and I also like this plan a lot but if you click on the plan you can then choose how many seats or customers you have so you can just click plus or minus then you can choose the plan type and the payment plan. So it's pretty simple and you can just start your paid plan if you want but you can also use it completely for free because after the 30 day free trial you will get the option to downgrade to the free plan because we haven't added any payment details you cannot be charged automatically. So to give you my review of Teamwork, I think it's a great tool for your project management because it offers everything you need to basically create tasks, assign them to people and everything you will need from a project management software. So I do really recommend it and again you can just get started completely for free and use it for free forever. Again I'll leave my link to teamwork.com down in the description that you can also use to take you to the Teamwork website and simply get started. So that concludes this Teamwork tutorial and review you and now you know how to use teamwork for project management. If this video was helpful please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said I will see you in the next video.